Good evening, everyone, and happy opening day in real life. This is Robert. RJL Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1972 postseason is on the air. We are at the Astrodome, the eighth wonder of the world. This is game three of the National League Division Series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Houston Astros. The Astros lead this series two games to none. A win today, they punch their ticket to the NLCS. Are they going to sweep the number one seed in the National League in my replay? Well, stranger things have happened in real life. Why should it not matter here in Inside Pitch? Happy opening day to you here, of course, uh, in real life in 2024. But it is not opening day here in 1972. As these two teams now go together and see if the Pirates can make a remarkable comeback. For those of you wondering, has a team come down 0-2 and won it all? Yes. In my 1988 replay, my Mets had a two games to none lead over the Giants. And the Giants promptly swept them three straight. My Mets still haven't won a playoff series in the network. So that's, it is what it is. But can the Pirates do it tonight, starting here with a game three to force a game four for Monday night? We will find out tonight. Jeremy Brooks, Vita Productions, Phoenix Knight, Brian B., Frank Rosenk, and DB join us here at the Astrodome. So we are all set and ready to go. A big game here at the Astrodome. The Astros historically lost today. Um, we'll see if Steeler fan joins us here. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a little bit mad at the way that game ended. But we will see if the Astros win here on the board. Uh, let's get right to it. Starting pitcher for the Houston Astros, their number three starter, Ken Forsh. Six wins, eight losses, a 3 9 1 ERA, 113 strikeouts, and 61 walks in 72. We are at the Astrodome. Pitchers Park, Pitchers Park, pretty it is neutral, but it does favor pitchers. 114 home runs, adds two to strikeouts, and adds one to walks. So we shall see what happens tonight. And we are set and ready for a big game here. The Pirates, they do or die tonight and try to force a game four for Monday. What will happen? Only the dice and inside pitch will know. Let's get right to it. Let's go to the top of the first. Leading off of the Pirates, second baseman Dave Cash. He is two for ten for the series. We're going to use blue, white, and blue dice. Astros are the home team. Not an empty seat here at the 8th Wonder of the World. What will happen here in this NLDS Game 3? Let's go to the first pitch. Forsh, 3-3, three, three, hit by pitch, 9, no way. Cash, 5-3, and against the righty, that's going to be a ground ball to shortstop. And it will be Roger Metzger getting to that. He will throw it over to first for the out. Next up is the left fielder, Vic. Davileo, he is 3 for 10 for the series, and he does have a bomb. Force with the deal. Force, 4-1, four, wild pitch, ball 1. 3-1, possible error. Davileo, 5-1, that's a ground ball to first base. That ball is hit to Lee, to Lee May. His error rating is a 4, that's a 16. He'll cover it. Force will come on over. May will toss it to him for the out, and that is out number 2. No error there by May. Why blue and white dice? Because uh, I don't want to use white dice. The white die I always use for the sides, and the blue die is usually always the color of the side dice. That's why I'm using blue and white. They did not have the rainbow uniforms at that time yet in 72. They did not have the rainbow uniforms. Two outs, and that'll bring up the right fielder, Roberto Clemente, Hall of Famer. Yeah, one of the greatest of all time. Yes, best Puerto Rican player in baseball history. He is two for eight for the series, though. My Basement Media Productions, Dr. Nick, the official doctor of the network, joins us here. Four split the pitch. Three, four, error on a grounder. Clemente, 4-4. Four, four. That's going to be a base hit to left field. It'll be a single. Left fielder, Bob Watson, an error rating of 5. 
That's a 10. He won't make an error out there. He'll corral it and toss it in. Two out base hit for Clemente. And now the next batter is the first baseman. Pops, Willie, Stargell, Hall of Famer. No doubt about it. Three for seven for the series, and he also has a bomb. Clemente, he'll go ahead and he will strategy roll first. Clemente is, he's not going anywhere. Force will go ahead and pitch. Force, 4-4, four, four, strikeout one, swing and a miss, struck him out. That'll end the inning. No runs and a hit for the Pirates. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates tonight. Their number three starter, Bob Moose. 13 wins, 10 losses, a save, a 291 ERA, 144 strikeouts, only 38 walks in 72. So we should have pretty good control. Bottom of the first, leading off for the Astros with a shortstop, Roger Metzger. He is two for 11 for the series. Moose will go ahead and pitch. Moose, 3-5, error on a grounder. Metzger, 3-3. Three, three. That's a power hit to center field. That's an eight. And against the righty, Metzger is going to lead off with a triple. That's a triple into center field. Center fielder is Al Oliver. His error rating is a four. Does he make an error out there? No, he'll get it, but Metzger will hold it third. Metzger leads off for the Astros with a triple. And just like that, the Astros have a man on third. Infield is in. And that will bring up the center fielder, Cesar Cedeno. He is doing very well. Six for ten for the postseason. He has a home run. Would you say Mike Schmidt is the best inside pitch player ever? I don't know yet. I really don't know. I really don't know. It may, I, I don't know. Mike Schmidt's been excellent. But remember, in the 1976 World Ser uh, postseason, I gave the MVP to Dick Allen in that uh, see, in that uh, postseason, which I would nobody had an issue with. Moose will pitch, strategy roll, and nothing on the six. Metzger stays at third. Moose, five two. That's a blank. Cedeno, two five. Base hit, right pass, short, and just like that, the Astros take the lead. The Astros are getting all the breaks so far in this series. That's an RBI single by Cedeno. It's one nothing Strohs. Jimmy Jam joins us here at the Astrodome. Next batter is the right fielder, Jimmy Wynn. He is one for eight for the series. Infield a double play. Astros already up one nothing here. Strategy roll. Cedeno does not get the steal sign. Wynn has the hit and run, but Wynn has very good power against righties. They're going to let him swing normally. Moose, 1 6, strikeout 4, swing and a miss, struck him out. First strikeout for Moose. And now the first baseman, Lee May. May is 4 for 11 for the series. The Astros are getting, are uh, uh, right now, the best hitting team at this moment, I believe, in the postseason, only after a few games. Strategy roll, and nothing on the, uh, uh, Cedeno does get the steal sign. He's going. 14 plus 2 is 16. Catcher, Manny Sanguian, minus 1 is a 15. There goes Cedeno. The throw down to second, and he's safe. Cedeno will go ahead and steal second base. First stolen base for him. That takes away the double play. Reroll the strat, and he will stay at second. Moose will go ahead and pitch. Moose, 2-2, two -two, walk, 15. That is high. May, 6-6. Six -six. That's a ground out in the short. Picked up there by Gene Alley. The throw goes to first for the out. Cedeno, he will make third. Cedeno will make third base on the ground out. So now a wild pitch could score him, possibly. And now the left fielder, Bob Watson. Watson is six for eight for the postseason, and he's got a bomb. Right now, Watson's one of the leading hitters in the whole postseason. 
Runner on at third, though. Two outs. One nothing already. Astros. Strategy. Nothing on the 11. Moose. One six. Strikeout. 11. Cold strike three on Watson. He got him, and the inning is over. Second strikeout for Moose, but one run, two hits. And they will strand a base runner, but the Astros already up one nothing after one. Pirates must win, or their season comes to an end. The number one seed in the National League, I believe over 107 or 108 wins. Um, let me see how many wins did they have. The, they finished the Pirates. The Pirates ended the season with 104 wins, and right now they're in very danger of getting swept by the Astros. We go to the top of the second. Leading off for the Pirates will be the third baseman, Richie Hebner. He is one for seven for the series. The problem is the Pirates have not been hitting. Force with the pitch. Forsh, 4-5, four, error on a throw. Hebner, 1-4. That's a ground ball to first. That ball is hit to Lee May. His error rating is a 4. That's an 18. He won't make an error. Force will come on over. May will toss it to him. And that will be the first out. Nice play by Force to get over. And now the catcher, Manny Sanguian. I'm going to say Sanguian was one of those more, very underrated catchers in baseball history. He is 1 for 8, though, for the series. One man out. Will Kent, does Ken have the force with him? Ken, 4-2, strikeout, 7. That just missed. Sanguian, 5-3, and that's flying to right field. And Jimmy Wynn will get to it and out number two. And now the center fielder, Al Oliver. He is 3-8 for eight for the series. Force goes ahead and deals. 1-4. That's at the park. Astrodome. 5-2. It's a power hit to right field. That is a 4. That's going to be a base hit. More Oliver will hit a single to right. And he will hold it first. So he keeps the inning going. And now the shortstop, Gene Alley. He is 4, he is four for 8 for the Pirates. Gene Alley right now is the Pirate leading hitter. Joe and Pico joins us here at the Astrodome. Joe and Pico. Where is that? Where is that Colorado? Joe and Pico. Is that Colorado? I'm thinking. Or where exactly is that there, Joe? Oliver on at first. Strategy. Nothing on the 11. Oliver will stay put. Force. Five threes, strikeout, 11, cold strike three on Allen. He got him, and the inning is over. Second strikeout for Forsh. No runs in a hit. We go to the bottom of the second. Hope everybody enjoyed their opening day today. My Mets will play tomorrow. Leading off for the Astros with the third baseman, Doug Rader. Rader is four for nine for the series. He's actually overachieving at the moment. Jim Cunnell joins us here at the Astrodome. Moose with the pitch. Moose, six, five, strikeout, seven, swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third strikeout from Moose, one down. And now the second baseman, Tommy Helms. Helms is three for eight for the series, and he does have a home run. Robert, would the Astros over these Pirates be your biggest playoff upset? Uh, I've had, I believe I've had a number one seed get knocked out. This may be the biggest playoff upset. I have to over, I have to go check what ratings. You know, this is the ninth, this is my ninth season I've done. And I, I'll tell you, I really have to look over a lot of things. Moose will pitch, but this would be one of the biggest ones, absolutely. Moose, 6-2, against the righty, strikeout plus 10, that's a 3, and that's a K. Strikeout number 4 for Moose, 2 away. And right now, here's the catcher, Johnny Edwards, who's been kind of an unsung hero for the Strohs so far. He's 4 for 9 for the series. Two men out, one nothing Astros already. Moose. 2-1. That's a blank. Edwards. 
four or two. That's grounded to second base. Dave will Dave will go ahead and cash me outside. He will take his time and toss it over routine, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Strohs. One, nothing after two. Top of the third. Leading off for the Pirates will be the pitcher, Bob Moose. A 169 average and six RBIs and 72. Capable hitter. Force will go ahead and pitch. Force, one, three, blank, moose, two, one, ground out to short. That'll get taken care of there by Metzger. And over to first it goes. Here's Cash. Cash is 0 for 1. Force goes ahead and deals. 6 5, strikeout. 18 is high. Cash, 6 2, and that's grounded to third. Getting over there will be Raider. And he'll go ahead and toss it over. Two down. And now Davileo, he's 0 for 1. Force goes ahead and deals. Force, 1 1, walk 2. That will be ball 4. So Davileo will walk to first. First walk given up by Force. And now the Pirates have a chance here with Clemente. Clemente got a base hit his first time up. Davileo at 14 stolen bases, and he will stay where he is. Force goes ahead, sets up with the pitch. Clemente hoping to maybe get the Pirates on the board here. Force. 1-3. That is a blank. Clemente. 2-4. Nope. That's a ground ball to third. And Raider. They'll go ahead and take it. They'll throw to second to get Davileo, and that will end the inning. Pirates getting base runners, but not getting anything other than that. Nothing across except the walk. We go to the bottom of the third. Leading off for the Astros will be the pitcher. Can May the Force be with you? He has 146 average and 72. Also very capable of getting a hit. Moose with the pitch. Moose, 5-1 against the righty. Strikeout, 9. That is a swing. That is a miss, and that is a strikeout. Moose getting strikeouts, that's his fifth. But the Pirates are unable to get anything on the board. They're already down one nothing. Here's Metzger, led off the game with a triple. Moose, 2-4, against the switch left. That is a blank. Metzger, 2-6, that's fly to right field. And Clemente will come under that one and grab it. And here's Cedeno. Cedeno got a base hit his first time up and stole the base. Also got an RBI. Moose with the pitch. Moose, 3-5. Error on a grounder. Cedeno, 1-4. That's hit into right field, and that's going to be a double. That's a double to right field. Right fielder Clemente, though, has an error rating of zero. He's not making an error. He'll throw that in, and Cedeno will stay at second base. Cedeno with a double. He is really killing the ball right now for the Astros early. He is 8 for 12. Right now, Cedeno is, would be probably an MVP candidate if the Strohs were in the, in the World Series. Long way to go, though. Here's Wynn. Wynn is 0 for 1. <laughs> one nothing doesn't seem to be where you want to be facing him in nation, but why? I'm just ran some random schlep off the streets. Random schlep. <laughs> so Daniel won at second. That's an 18. He'll stay put. Moose will pitch. Moose, 1 3. That's a blank. Win, 4 1. Base hit right past second. It's a single. Sedano so coming around from third. He will score. 2 nothing Astros. Stadium cheers. Yay! The Astros are getting timely hits. The Pirates are not. Everything's going right for the Strohs right now. Here's May. May is 0 for 1. 2 nothing now, Astros. Moose will go ahead and pitch. Strategy roll first. And nothing happening. Moose will pitch. 
Moose, 6-5, strikeout, 17 is high. May, 6-5, ground out to second base. Cash will go ahead and get that. And he's going to throw to first to get May. And that will retire the side. One run, two hits. And the Astros trying to sweep the Pirates right out. Long way to go yet, but they have a 2-0 lead after three. Top of the fourth. Leading off for the Pirates will be Pops, Willie Stargell. He's 0 for 1. Forsh, he'll go ahead and pitch. 4, 6, 4, blank. Stargell, 5, 6, fly ball, hit the straightaway center. Cedeno is going to go ahead and make the catch for out number one. Next up is Hebner. Hebner is 0 for 1. Forsh, 5, 4, strikeout, 18, that's high. Hebner, 1-1, one, one, and against the righty, it's a ground ball to second base. Helms will cover it and toss it over for the out. And now Sanguian. Sanguian is 0-for-1. Right now, the Forsh is with Forsh. Ken will pitch. Ken, 1-5. Home run result against the righty. Sanguian needs a 9. That's an 8. The Pirates will finally... Get on the board. That one's going to clear the right field wall by maybe about 15 feet. Kaboom! Solo home run! Manny sank in! High, deep, and gone! And the Pirates are on the board. The force was with force, but not on that pitch. As he put that one right over the plate, and Sanguian turned that meatball into lasagna. It's two to one. That is the first home run for Sanguian in the postseason. And now the batter is Oliver. Oliver got a base hit his first time up. Forsh, he will pitch. Forsh, one five. That's a home run result against a righty. Oliver needs a 15. That's an 11. And that, my friends, is back to back jacks. Kaboom! That ball is high. That ball is deep over the left field wall. It's gone. This game is tied. Stadium groans. <sighs> back to back jacks. Manny Sanguin and Al Oliver were tied at two. First home run of the postseason for Oliver. And four suddenly gives up a couple of meat. One was a meatball and one was a grapefruit. He turned that into fruit salad. And now here's Allie. Allie is 0 for 1. All of this with two outs. Now we got a tie ball game. Force will go ahead and pitch. Force, 4-4, four, four, strikeout, 15 is high. Allie, 1-3, base hit into right field. It's a single. Ali continues to hit well. That's his first hit of the game. And now the batter is Moose with two outs. Strategy roll for Ali and nothing on the 13. As yes, we have a lumber company sighting. Force will go ahead and pitch to Moose. Force, two, three, strikeout 15. Swing and a miss, struck them out. And that will end the inning. Third strikeout for Force. Two runs, three hits. The Pirates finally show up, tied at two, going in the bottom of the fourth. No tomorrow for the Pirates. If they lose, they are done. Trying to force a game four on Monday. Leading off for the Astros will be Bob Watson, and he's 0 for 1. Moose, he'll go ahead and pitch. Moose. 5-1 against the righty. Strikeout eight. Swing and a miss. Struck the out. And that is strikeout number six. Moose is trying to settle down here. And right now he's throwing some good heat. It'll bring up Raider. Raider is 0 for 1. Moose will go ahead and deal. Moose, 4-6. That's a walk. That 17 is too high. Raider, 
one five, and he flies it to center field. And that's going to be Oliver getting to that. He'll make the play for out number two. Here's Helms. Helms is 0 for 1. Moose, he'll go ahead and deal. Moose, 3 1. Range play at the park. Astrodome, 1 3. And that is a blank. We will have a rare play instead with bases empty. So the range play is canceled. 34, inside pitch. Nice uh, nice touch uh, by uh, Chris Davis, the name of his own game. Inside pitch, possibly hits batter in the elbow. Resolved like a hit-by-pitch. Well, Moose, um, Helms' hit-by-pitch rating is a 5. Moose minus 1 is a 4. That's a 6. It does not hit him. And if the batter is hit, check for injury to hitter. Otherwise, just the ball re-pitch. It did not hit him. So we will redo it. David Vega joins us here at the Astrodome. Moose, 3-4. That's at the park again. Astrodome, 3-4. Base hit right past first. Helms keeps the inning going with a single. That's his first hit of the game. It will now bring up Edwards. Edwards is 0 for 1. Helms had four stolen bases. He won't get any here. Moose will pitch. Moose. 6-6, six, six, blank, Edwards, 1-4, popped up, popped up, and first baseman, Stargell calling for it, he will get it, and make the catch, no runs in a hit, we're tied at two after four, for the Pirates, it's win or go home. There are too many injury checks on rare plays. I'm actually going to disagree with you. I think there's plenty of there's just enough injury checks. There are injuries in baseball, okay. And remember, and remember also, Brian B. Most play most people play as played, so they usually are not they're not usually checking the errors, okay, for injuries. That's why injuries go. I mean, let me tell you something, Brian B. I've got we have five injuries. We have five injuries in this postseason, okay? You know how many we had in 2016? I don't think I had any. I don't think we had any in the 2016 postseason. If we did, maybe one, but I don't remember. But there wasn't that many injuries in 2016, all right? So I'm going to disagree with you. I think they're just a matter of injuries because the only way you can have an injury is on a rare play. So I'm going to disagree with you on that. But like I said, you, you're not you're not wrong in what you're thinking. I just I I'm just going to disagree. We go to the top of the fifth, and it's the top of the order for the Bucks. Here's Dave Cash. He's 0 for two. Cash has really got to start pulling it together. Force will go ahead and pitch. Force six two strikeout. Not with that eighteen. Cash two six. That's a fly ball to center field. And Cedeno will go ahead and get it. And that's out number one. Next batter is Davileo. Davileo is 0 for 1 with a walk. Fourth. 2 1. Strikeout. Five. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the fourth K for Forsh. Due down. And now Clemente. Clemente 1 for 2 with a single. Forsh with the pitch. Forsh. 6-5, strikeout two, swing and a miss, struck him out. He got Clemente, and that's a good inning for Forge. One, two, three, go the Pirates. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Leading off for the Strohs will be Ken Forge, and he's 0 for 1. Tied at 2. Bottom of the fifth inning. Astros lead the NLDS two games to none. Pirates must win. Moose, 5-5. Five, five. Possible error. Forsh, 6-6. Six, six. It's a ground ball to first. That ball is hit to Willie Stargell. His error rating is a 13. That's a 15. He will he'll bobble it, but he'll hold on to it. Moose will come on over. Stargell throws to Moose and gets the out. Wow, Stargell almost makes an error there, but he bobbled it, but kept with it. And he got Forsh, one down. 
But in 1972, there wasn't a lot of injuries. <clears throat> Brian B., like I said, brother, I'm just going to disagree. I think the injuries are just fine. I feel like remember remember one thing: inside pitch is customizable. If you think there's not, if you think there's too many injuries, don't roll for them. Here's Metzger. Metzger is one for two with a triple. Moose with the pitch. Moose six five strikeout eleven. That is high. Metzger six one. That's grounded right back to Moose. Moose will go ahead and get it, and he'll toss it over for the out. Two away. Here comes Cedeno. Cedeno is two for two, a single and a double. I don't have anybody in the in the. I have nobody in for March Madness, my brother. Um, I I don't care who wins. I don't care who wins, but yes, I am enjoying the tournament. Moose will go ahead and pitch. Moose five three. That's at the park. Astrodome one four. Base hit center field. Moose cannot get Cedeno out. Cedeno is now three for three with a single. And now the batter is Win. Win is one for two. Cedeno won it first. And he's not going anywhere. Moose will go ahead and pitch. Moose. Five three. That's at the park. Astrodome. Six six. Single right past second base. And that'll be a base hit. So Daniel will have the speed. He'll get the third, win the first, and now the Astros still have, have another big run at third base. Single pass second. Sedano with two outs. He will go ahead and make third easily. And now a chance for May. May is 0 for 2. Runners at the corners. Two men down. Moose now trying to get out of this jam. Two outs and now two straight singles. Strategy. Nothing on the 13. Cedeno on it third. Win on it first. May at the plate. Moose. 6-3. Strikeout 11. Cold strike three on May. He got him. And the inning is over. And that was big. And that is strikeout number seven for, for Moose. No runs, two hits for the Astros. We stay tied at two. Steeler fan might be recovering from the law from the Astro loss today. I completely disagree with the third base coach to send um, the runner from second base on that hit uh, into uh, extras. I think that was a dumb, very uh, that was a um, I thought that was a very dumb idea. I don't think I, I wouldn't ascend the runner. Not against the Yankees and extras. We go to the top of the six. Soto's got a decent arm. Forced back on the mound. Here's Pops. Willie Stargell is 0 for 2. Force. He'll go ahead and pitch. Remember, Steeler fan does work late sometimes, and I'm sure he's watching the game in spirit. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, we know what will be said if the Astros lose this game. 2-4. Walk plus 10. That's ball four. He'll walk Stargell. Stargell draws a free pass. And that is the second walk issued by Forsh. And now here's Hebner, who's really been quiet this boat this series. Hebner, a 300 average. He's not been doing it. Infield at double play depth. Stargell on it first. He only had one stolen base, and he's not going to get any here. Hebner does get the hit and run idea, but Hebner saying, I got home run power here. I am doing no such thing. Force with the pitch. Force. 5 3, strikeout 20. That is high. Hebner, 6 1. It's a line drive to short. That's caught. And on a one, Starge will be doubled off. And he is. Holy cow, two outs. Stargell doubled off at first. It's a line drive right to Metzger. He throws to first to double him off. And that is an L6-3 double play. Holy cow, Pops, how do you not? How do you not pay attention? 
Two down, and now Sanguian. He had a bomb his last time up. He's one for two. Forsh, he'll go ahead and deal. Forsh, two, five. That's a blank. He's not tired. Sanguian, four, four against the righty. It's a ground ball to short. And Metzger is going to go ahead and get that. He'll take his time and toss it over and end the inning. Nothing across except a walk and a big-time double L6-3 double play. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Pirates have got to take advantage of that if they got runners. Bottom of the sixth inning, Bob Watson leads off for the Strohs. He's 0 for 2. Tied at 2, bottom of the sixth. Astros lead this NLDS two games to none. A win, and the Astros punch their ticket to the NLCS to face either the Reds or the Cubs. Moose, 3-1, range play at the park. Astrodome, 3-4. It's a base hit pass first, but it's a range play for Willie Stargell. His range is a two. Nope, that'll be a single. Watson will get the first. Lead off base hit for Bob Watson. And now here's Raider. He is 0 for 2. Infield is that double play. Strategy. And Watson staying where he is. Moose will go ahead and pitch. Moose. 4-4. Four, four, blank. Raider. 1-6. Ground ball to short. 3-3-4. Three, three, Second base pivot cash. 0. 1-4. It's a double play. They got it. Two outs. 6-4-3 double play, now two away, as Raider hits into the twin killing. And now here's Helms. Helms is one for two, got a base hit his last time up. Moose with the pitch. Moose, 3-3, three, three, wild pitch, ball one. 4-4, four, four, that is a blank. Helms. 5-3. That's a grounder off the second base. That'll get taken care of by Cash. Cash will take his time and toss it over. And end the inning. No runs and a hit. Tied at two after six. We go to the top of the seven. 2-2 two -two tie here at the Astrodome. Astros win. The Pirates are out. Pirates win. They will force a game four on Monday. And it will be Al Oliver leading off for the Pirates. Forsh has two more batters he can face before he tires. He's also due to bat second in the seventh. They're going to let him pitch. Forsh is doing a good job. Oliver, two for two, a single and a bomb. Forsh, three, four, error on a grounder. Oliver. 2-1. That's not an error. It's a slow hit ball to third. That's picked up by Doug Rader. Oliver, base running rating of three. The throw to first. Not in time. Oliver is safe with an infield single. Oliver now three for three. And now the batter is Alley. Alley a one for two. Infield a double play. Oliver beats the throw. Forsh will go ahead and he will strategy roll first. And Oliver staying right where he is. Forsh will pitch. Forsh, 6 4, blank. Alley, 1 4. And that's a ground ball to first. 1 2 2. Shortstop, pitch, pivot. Metzger a 0. A 1 to 2. It's a 3 6 3. No. It's a ground ball to first. May saw that Oliver got a pretty good jump. And he's going to take it to the bag himself, and Oliver is going to move to second for move to second. And now one out. The batter now is Moose. And I don't see Moose batting here. I think you're, it's tied at two. Moose can still pitch to. Hmm. Moose can still pitch a number, but I, I, this is the seventh inning. you got to get that run across. That's going to be it for Bob Moose. The Pirates are going to go to the bench, and I believe that's the right call. So the Pirates will go to the bench. And coming on to pinch hit is going to, 
is going to be Rennie Stinnett, 286 average, three homers, 30 RBIs. Stinnett will pinch it for, for Moose. Pirates will go to the bullpen. Oliver on at second. Force will pitch to Stinnett. Fans here at the Astrodome, and Force, actually Force is tired. Uh, that's going to be it for Force. He's done. And the Astros are not going to let Force pitch. They're going to take him out as well. And the Astros will go to the will go to the bench. We'll go to the bullpen. We may see a we may see a double switch here. And let's see what's going to be. And they're going to go with. Coming on to pitch for the Astros is going to be Tom Griffin. Five wins, four losses, three saves, 3-2-4 ERA. Remember, the Astros lost Fred Gladding for the postseason. He is out. So Griffin's going to go ahead and come in to pitch. The question is, and the question is, is, is he going to be a replacement here? And let me see what they want to do. And I think. Griffin can pitch to nine, and I don't want. And now that you lost, you lost Gladding. So in a way, you actually have to do a double switch. I'm in the seventh inning, so I can do them. And we are going to, we're going to make a double switch. Brian B, there's going to be a double switch. Can you believe it or not? Tom Griffin is going to come into Johnny Edwards' spot, and he will come out of the game. Larry Howard is the other catcher, and he's going to take over at the catcher spot. And Griffin was – Griffin – no, I'm not sorry, not Howard. My bad. Howard's due to lead off. I can't do that. Um, Hold on. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. I got to remember I got to do this right. This takes a little time to do this. It's a pain in the butt. Um, Actually, who comes out here? Um. Let's see. Wow. I may not be able to do a double switch here. I don't like the idea. You know what? Tom Griffin's going to pitch. I'm not going to do a double switch. I don't like the I don't like the range. I don't like the range grades for the Astros, and I don't want to intentionally put in a roll, a lower range just for the heck of it. Double switch is called off. Griffin's gonna pitch. He may bat. He may bat. He can hit. So coming on to pinch hit is Rennie Stinnett. Tom Griffin will come on to pinch hit. Will come in to pitch. One out. Top of the seventh. Tied at two. This is a big at bat. Strategy roll. No, that's a 20. Griffin turns around, fires the second. Got him, picked him off. Holy cow. Tom Griffin picked off Oliver at second base. Pickoff rating one to four. That's a two. He got Oliver. Wow. All of that. And Tom Griffin said, don't worry about it. I'll get him at second. And he does. Two outs. What a play by Tom Griffin and picked him off. And now Stanette will bat with the runners empty. Stadium cheers. Yay! Griffin will pitch. Griffin, 2-4, strikeout. 18 is high. Stanette, 2-5. And he grounds it right back to Griffin anyway. Griffin will take it. He'll toss it over to first. And the inning is over, and that's got to be demoralizing. No runs and a hit for the Pirates. A great chance goes by the board there. And we are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back.
Tomorrow night, we travel back to the junior circuit for game three of the American League Division Series between the Oakland Athletics and the New York Yankees. We go to Yankee Stadium for game three. That series is tied at one. It will be Ken Holtzman going for the Athletics and Mike Kekich will be going for the Yankees. A big chance for the Yankees to maybe take a 2-1 series lead, but the Athletics, they pretty much were the best team in the replay, and they got to prove it as they go to the Bronx for two games. Athletics and the Yankees, game three, that series is tied at one. That'll be tomorrow night on Friday Night Baseball. Bottom of the seventh, tied at two. Johnny Edwards will lead off for the Astros. He's 0 for 2. Pirates need a pitcher. And they're going to go with... They're going to go with Ramon Hernandez. Five wins, no losses, 14 saves, a 1-6-7 ERA. Hernandez will be the second Pirate pitcher. And he can pitch to five batters. They're going to go with Ramon Hernandez, the lefty, against Edwards. Top of the Bottom of the seven, tied at two. Hernandez will pitch. Hernandez, 4-2. That's at the park. Astrodome, 3-5. That's a power hit to left field. That's a 17, and that's going to be too high. Fly ball to left. It'll die out there. Vic Davalio will get it and make the play for out number one. He does have his own hitting card, which tells me he did, which tells me he did come up to bat. He did come up to bat once in a while, and he actually was a pretty good hitter. Coming on to bat now for the Astros will be Tom Griffin. He was at a 280 average, one homer and two RBIs. Why do you think I decided to let Griffin bat when I saw that? So Tom Griffin will bat for himself here. 1972. This is 1972, not uh, not 2024. Ian Brooke, the owner of On Deck Baseball, joins us here at the Astrodome. Hernandez will pitch. Hernandez, 4-5, range play. Griffin, 5-3. It's a ground ball right back to Hernandez. His range is a three. And he's got it. Nice play. Hernandez will throw it over to first and get the out. One, two away. Two outs, and now here's Metzger. Metzger is one for three. He has a triple. Hernandez will deal. Hernandez, four, six. Strikeout plus ten. That's a, that is a, that's a ten, and that's an easy strikeout. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and the inning is over. Nice job by Hernandez. And one, two, three, go the Astros. You can almost say Tom Griffin's hitting card is a ringer. But why not? Let him bat. This is, the, this is 1972. Tied at two after seven. And with Fred Gladding out, the I'm going to have to play a little bit more conservative with the Astro pitching a bit. Because I want to try to be as fair as possible. We go to the top of the eighth. Tied at two here. Griffin will come back on the mound. And he can still pitch two, eight more batters. He's He's got plenty of time. And let's see. It's the top of the order for the Bucks. Here's Dave Cash. Cash is 0 for 3. Yes, happy opening day to you, my good man. Unfortunately, my Mets have to wait for uh, my Mets have to wait for tomorrow. Griffin will go ahead and pitch. Griffin, 6-5, against the righty, strikeout plus 10. That is a 10. That's a swing and a miss and struck him out. Man, Cash has just not done it. He is 0 for 4 today. And now Davalio. Davalio 0 for 2 with a walk. Griffin with the pitch. Griffin, 5-5, five, five, range play. Davalio. 2-2. Two, two. Power hit to center field. That's a 17 against the righty. It's too high. So it's a fly ball to center field. Going after that is Cesar Cedeno. His range is a three. And he's not going to get it. And that's going to be a double over his head. 
Davolio just le just hits one right out of Cedeno's reach. And Davolio's going to wind up at second with a double. A very big run at second base. And now Clemente. Time out for one quick second. All right, just wanted to check something. All right, so big run at second base, tied at two here. Griffin will pitch to Clemente. He is one for three. One out, top of the eight, tied at two. Davalio on at second. Strategy rolls are still on. Nothing on the 16. Davalio gets in there. Griffin will pitch. Griffin, 3-3, three, three, strikeout, 9, cold strike, 3 on Clemente. He should have swung at that. That is good. 8 plus 2 is a 10. That's a 9, and he got him. And Clemente can't believe he didn't swing at it. Two outs. And now here's Pops. Stargell is 0 for 2 with a walk. Big run at second base. Pirates got to get the lead here somehow. Top of the eight, tied at two. Strategy, that is a one. Devil Leo, uh, yeah, he gets the steal sign, and he's got an easy chance to get the third, but I think it's stupid if he somehow, with the way the D20 rolls on steals, nah. They'll keep him there. He'll probably score on a base hit. Devil Leo on at second. The steal is called off. He says no, let Pops hit. Griffin looking in on Stargell. Fans hoping for a good pitch. Griffin. 3-5. Strikeout 12. Swing and a miss. Struck him out and the inning is over. Griffin strikes out the side. He does give up a double. So no runs in a hit and we go to the bottom of the eighth. Tied at two. Leading off for the Astros will be Cesar Cedeno. He is three for three. Two singles and a double. Hernandez will stay out there. We can pick the two more batters before he tires. He's going to stay out there. Hernandez with the pitch. Hernandez, 1-6. Range play at the park. Astrodome, 3-4. Base hit pass first. But it's a range play for Stargell. His range is a two. He's not getting that. And Cedeno has another hit. That's his third single of the game. And now the go-ahead run is at first. And here comes win. Stargell couldn't make the play. Cedeno now four for four. And win is two for three. Two singles. Infield double play. Strategy roll. And Cedeno does not get the steal. He will stay put. And they're going to let Wynn swing away here. Hernandez will go ahead and pitch. Hernandez, 5-3. Error on a throw. Win 4-5. That's a ground ball to third. The ball is caught by Hebner. Hebner's error rating is a 5. That's a 7. Now, he will not make an error. The question is, will the pivot? if there's a pivot, will there be an error? So, double play, two, one, two. Second base, pivot, cash. A one or a two, it's a double play. No. So the throw goes to second. They're going to go. Sedania will be out. There will not be a throw to first. And that will be out number one. There will not be a throwing error. Plus, cash has an error rating of two. So there will not be a throwing error. They do get the force out on the fielder's choice. Ramon Hernandez is now tired, but they're going to let him pitch to May. Do I check for a double on Reigns plays the first and third? Yes, I do, of course. Yes, I do. One to four. Unless it's, remember though, remember if it already states, okay, an S3 or an S5 on the card and it's a failed range play, it's a single. Okay, you only check for a great a double, a single or double if it's a range play on a G3 or a G5. Win on it first. 
One out here, bottom of the eight, tied at two. Hernandez will stay out there. He will pitch. Strategy, nothing on the 18. Hernandez will deal. Hernandez, 2-3. Another range play. May, 5-4. It's a line drive to third. That's hit to Hebner. Hebner's range is a one with the double play. He leaps. Nope, right over his head, and that's going to be... And that is going to... That actually actually was a line drive. That's a line drive to third. And that's going to be a double down the line. That's hit right over his head. It's a double right down the line. Win will go to third and made a second. That becomes a D5, which means the runners only advance two bases. So Win will get to third base. And now the go-ahead run is at third. The infield has to come in for Watson. And that will be it for Hernandez. So Hernandez will come out of the game. And the Pirates will go to the bullpen. And coming on to pitch for the Pirates. They have got they have got to keep this game where it is. Coming on to pitch for the Pirates will be their closer, Dave Justy. Seven wins, four losses, 22 saves, a 193 ERA. Justy's job, keep it where it is. Tied at two. Bottom of the eighth. The infield is in. A line drive to third, but Hebner could not get it and went into the corner. Runners at second and third. The question is, do you actually walk Watson and pitch to Raider? And I'm actually thinking of that idea. And I think that is the right idea. They are going to intentionally walk Bob Watson. And they're going to let him pitch to Doug Raider. Raider has home run power, but does not have the average. So they intentionally walk Watson. The bases are loaded, and Doug Rader will now come on to bat. He's 0 for 3. And they're going to still keep the infield in. Rader also has a higher double play rating. So Justy will pitch to Rader. Strategy roll. That's a 20. Justy fires the first to get Watson. And no, Watson will get back. Oh, Watson was almost caught looking, but Justy goes ahead. He'll pitch now to Raider. The fans are loud here at the Astrodome, hoping Raider comes through. Justy with the pitch. 3-4. That is at the park. Astrodome. 3-2. And it's a ground ball right back to Justy. Raider's double play rating is a 3. Raiders double play rating is a three, but it's hit to Justy, which is a minus one. Which is a which is a minus one on a ground ball double play. Now, Win his base running rating is a three, but it becomes a one. It's hit to Justy. So, very simple. A one or a two, it's a double play. A three to five, Win is out at the plate. A six, the run's going to score, and Raiders going to be out at first. That's how one game ended. Did the Astros get it that way? No. Hit right to Justy. Justy throws it back to the plate. He will get win. Two outs and the runners advance. So win is thrown out at the plate. On the fielder's choice. Now the batter is Helms. And Helms is one for three. But now two outs. Justy trying to go ahead and get this game into the ninth at the at tied. Fans here at the Astrodome are on their feet. Helms is one for three. Justy will pitch to Helms. Strategy roll. Nothing on the two. Nobody moves. Justy looking at Helms. The fans are loud. Here comes the pitch. Justy, 4-4, four, four, strikeout 10. That is high. Helms, 3-3. Three, three. And, and Tommy Helms is going to come through against the righty. Kapow, that's going to be a double in the right field. The Astros will take the lead. May will score. 
Watson will score. Raider, two outs, base runner four, double to right, minus three. He will score on a one. And it's a six. Raider coming around third, Helms around second. Raider coming to the plate. And Clemente has an excellent arm, is a minus two arm. A one to five, there'll be a play. There is a two to five, Raider is out. And he is. Raider is out at the plate, but the damage is done. Side retire. May scores. Watson scores. Raider is out at the plate as Roberto Clemente throws him out. And that is a double for Helms. But the inning is over, and the Astros have taken a 4-2 lead. Stadium cheers. Yay! Two runs, three hits, a walk, and the Astros now lead it 4-2, to two, and the Pittsburgh Pirates, the number one seed in the National League, are running out of outs. We go to the top of the ninth. Will we see some ninth inning magic? Leading off for the Pirates will be Richie Hebner. Tom Griffin can still pitch to four more batters before he tires. George Culver is now the closer with Gladden out. And... And that's going to be it for Griffin. The, the They're going to go to Culver. So coming on to pitch for the, for the Astros to try to send the Astros to the NLCS will be George Culver. Culver has, is, has a win and a hold, so he has one win and one hold in this postseason. So Culver trying to – so Culver – Trying to get the game, trying to get the Astros to the NLCS. Richie Hebner will lead off. Top of the ninth, 4 2 Astros. What an incredible play. Two runs do score, but Roberto Clemente throws out, goes ahead and throws out Raider at the plate. And Culver goes ahead and will pitch to Hebner. Culver, 3 1, hit by pitch, 12. Plunk! Ouch! He hit him! Culver comes in, and the first thing he does is hit Hebner. That is the first hit batter of the game, and now that brings the tying run to the plate in Sanguian. Steeler fan does definitely want some ninth inning magic, and he says, no magic. So Sanguian is up next, is one for three. Infield is at double play. Four to two Astros, top of the ninth. But Culver hits Hefner, and now here's Sanguin. He has a bomb in this game. Strategy rolls are off. Culver will pitch. Culver, three, five, strikeout six. Cold strike three on Sanguin. He got him. One down. And now the batter is Oliver. Oliver having a heck of a night. Three for three, two singles and a bomb. Hebner run it first. Culver's got to be careful with Oliver. Four to two ball game, top of the ninth. Astros lead, two games to none in this Den LDS. Culver sets up with the pitch. Culver, one three against the lefty. It's a blank. Oliver, three three. It's a ground ball to first. Two. Two, two, shortstop, pivot, Metzger, zero, a one or a two, the Astro, this ball game is over. No, it's a ground ball to first, May throws to Metzger to get Hebner, Hebner is out, Oliver will make it to first, and now there are two down. And now the last chance for the Pirates is Gene Alley. And 
we're going to see, I think we're going to see a pinch hitter for him. Allie is one for three. And the Pirates got to do everything they can to try to do something. So Allie coming out of the game. So the Pirates will need a shortstop if this game goes any further. And coming on to pinch it is going to be Gene Kleins. A much better hitter, though. So here's Gene Kleins to try to pinch it. Kleins, 334 average, no homer, 17 RBIs. Two men down. The fans here at the Astrodome are loud, hoping Culver can send the Strohs into their NL, into the 72 NLCS. Oliver on it first. Kleins at the plate. Culver looking in. No strategy roll. Culver looks in. Gets the sign from Edwards. And now the pitch. Culver, 1-3 against the righty. It's going to be an automatic out. And that is a fly ball to right field. Going after that is Jimmy Wynn. He'll take a couple of steps inside. Puts out his glove. Block. The ball falls into it. That's your game. That's your series. The Houston Astros sweep the number one seed in the National League. And they're going on to the NLCS. Stadium cheers. Yay! The Pirates just could not catch a break in this entire postseason. And the Astros move on to the NLCS. They will await the winner of the Reds or the Cubs. The Astros are the number four seed. The Astros are the number four seed, so no matter who they play, the Astros will have to have games three, four, and five at the Astrodome. The Reds won the National League West, and the Cubs were the number three seed. So the Astros will definitely have games three, four, and five at the Astrodome. But the Astros go ahead and knock off the Pirates. The Pirates got absolutely no help at all. Nothing across except a hit batter. Congratulations to the Astros. They're going on to the NLCS. Final line score coming up. For the Astros, four runs, 11 hits, no errors. For the Pirates, two runs, seven hits, no errors. The winning pitcher is Tom Griffin. He'll go ahead and get the win. Uh, Hernandez is going to wind up. Ramon Hernandez is going to wind up taking the loss. Culver will get a save, and that's going to be his first save. Griffin gets his first win, So now, and he has two holds as well. So a big-time victory here for the Astros as they beat a Pirates team that really had no business losing to the Astros in this series. But they got absolutely no help at all. No help at all. Congratulations to the Astros. Tomorrow night will be game three of the American League Division Series between the Oakland Athletics and the New York Yankees. Ken Holtzman will be going for the Athletics and Mike Kekich will be going for the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. That series is tied at one. A very important game there between those two teams. A huge one there. Who can come through and take a 2-1 series lead and force elimination? What will happen? Athletics, Yankees, Holtzman, and Kekich. Be there or be square. 
PFLQR, Steeler Fan, Jim Connell, Ian Brooke, Brian B., My Basement Media Productions, Vita Productions, David Vega. Let's see here. Phoenix Knight, Jimmy Jam. DB, Frank Rosenk, and Jeremy Brooks. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. Subscribe if you're not done so, and make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. The Houston Astros take the sink, the Pittsburgh Pirates. They win it tonight, 4-2. to two. They win this National League Division Series three games to none. See you guys tomorrow night.